Welcome to our lesson on simplifying thirds. Before we begin simplifying these thirds here, we need to understand what a third is. So here we have three terms. We have the square root of 2, the square root of 12, and the square root of 9. Now two of these three are thirds. And to understand what a third is, we need to calculate each of these on a calculator. So we'll look at the square root of 2. So you can see on our calculator, the square root of 2 is 1.4121 And actually, if our calculator display was accurate enough, you would see this number would go on forever. The decimals would never repeat and they would never terminate. So because of this, the square root of 2 can never be written any more exact than as the square root of 2. And for this reason, it is a third. So the most exact way of writing this is root 2. If we look at the square root of 12, on a calculator you can see we have 3.46410615 and again this number would never terminate and it would never repeat. So again for the same reason the square root of 12 is a third because this is the only way of writing it in its most exact form. However, if we looked at the square root of 9, you can see the answer is 3. So because we can write the square root of 9 in its exact form as 3, this is not a third. So because a third can only be written in its most exact form using the square root or cube root symbol, we need to find ways of simplifying them. And we can use these rules here. Rather than talking about them in depth, I'm going to show you how they work. So we'll look at the square root of 12. We're going to simplify this third. We're going to do this using these square numbers. Because you can see that 4 is a factor of 12. So root 4 is a factor of root 12. And root 4 times root 3 does make root 12. And we can simplify the square root of 4 which is 2. So 12 is 2 root 3. And again you can see this on a calculator display where we type in root 12 the display answers 2 root 3. And if we have the square root of 40 well 40 has 4 which is a square factor so we have the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 10 because 4 times 10 is 40 and this is this rule here we can work out the square root of 4 which is 2 so the square root of 40 simplifies to make 2 root 10 you can see that the root 10 has no square factors and for question c we have the square root of 100 now this is not a third because square root of 100 simplifies or it can be calculated to make 10. Do you want to try and simplify the square root of 500? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So the square root of 500 is the square root of 5 multiplied by the square root of 100. And we know the square root of 100 is 10. So we have 10 root 5. Okay, let's try some more questions. So we'll work through question F, where we're going to simplify the square root of 40, which is root 4, root 10. I've chosen 4 because 4 is a square number. Root 4 is 2, multiplied by root 10. Now we'll do the denominator, which has 16 as a square factor. So the square root of 16 multiplied by the square root of 2. The square root of 16 is 4 over root 2. We can simplify this fraction by dividing the 2 and the 4 by 2. So we have root 10 over 2 root 2. And now we can simplify the root 10 over root 2 by dividing both by root 2. So now we have 
Root 10 divided by root 2, which is root 5. These will cancel over 2. OK, let's try question G. So we'll begin by simplifying the square root of 60, which has root 4 as a factor, multiplied by root 15. The square root of a 4 is 2, so we have 2 root 15. Now I know square factors of 15, so now we'll do the denominator. And you can see the square root of 45 is root 9 root 5 multiplied by this root 2. We'll simplify the root 9, which is 3. So we have 3 root 2 multiplied by root 5. Now we can simplify dividing both by root 5. So we have 2. This will make root 3. over this and this will cancel 3 root 2 do you want to try and work out question h by simplifying each third you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready so we'll begin by simplifying the numerator so for root 12 we have root 4 root 3 for the square root of 8 we have root 2, root 4. The square root of 4 is 2, and here as well. So we have 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. The root 3 multiplied by root 2, which is root 6. And the denominator is root 6 already. So divided by root 6. You can see these two will cancel. So it simplifies to make 4. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.